take a look at these new uh, Duhon, I guess that's how you say it, Duhon gloves from, uh, you get them through Amazon, and I will put a link in the description down below. But let's take a look at what these have. These are electric gloves that are rechargeable batteries, or they run on rechargeable batteries. And um, I just want to point out some of the features. First of all, it has like hard protectors on all the little knuckle joints. That's something I haven't seen before. Uh, of course, here's the name of the glove. I don't believe this is reflective. I think this piece right here might be reflective, kind of a safety feature. And it's got a really hard plastic uh, knuckle protector up here. And then uh, down here, it's got a really nice, uh, you know, kind of their logo. Uh, if you look on the underside of the glove, you've got these little kind of rubberized fingertips here that I think are so that you can uh, control the screen on your phone or on GPS, and there's a little kind of a leather-covered thumb. There's also some rubber here on the palm to give you a little better grip on your hand grip. Uh, there's a little padded, a little padded piece here, kind of at the base of your thumb, and like a hard plastic, uh, it looks like carbon fiber, but I'm sure it's just plastic, a little carbon fiber protector there for kind of the heel on your palm. Uh, you have two closures. You have a Velcro, the main closure here on the gauntlet, which you can use here to close. And then you also have this other uh, Velcro strap to tighten around your wrist. That's really an important feature. I want to put this on so you can kind of see. So you can tighten this around your wrist. And where that helps you is if you were to uh, come off the bike and your arm kind of flails wildly, that force of your arm flailing can actually throw the glove off your hand. I've seen that happen to uh, motorcycle racers. So having this little extra thing here to tighten around your wrist is a really good idea. Um, and the only other feature I think that I notice is the little switch here. This is a button. I don't have the battery in right now, but this is a button where you use to turn on the heated grip or the heated uh, part of the glove for the turn on the heat. And uh, this switch has three colors. It has a red, a blue, and a green, and uh, or off, obviously. And that would uh, tell you the different levels of heat that you have going into the glove. Now, if you look on the inside of the glove, it's kind of a kind of a fleece lining. It's Actually pretty soft, pretty comfortable. There's a Velcro compartment here uh, with a wire that comes out. This is where you connect the battery. We'll do that here in a little bit. And you stuff the battery down in this little compartment and then you just close up the Velcro. Now we're going to install the battery. You recharge it here, and, and after these are fully charged, there's a light on the charger uh, that changes colors, so you'll know when they're fully charged. And you can charge both batteries at the same time with one charger. That's a nice feature. So let's go ahead and unplug that from the charger. And we're going to plug this into the glove here. It just, it's a simple plug-in. And it does appear to be a I would say a relatively waterproof looking connector. I'm not sure if it's waterproof, but it looks pretty substantial. And now we're going to tuck this down into that little pocket. I'm going to tuck the uh, connector in first and then the, slip the battery in. And, it, and the battery goes in horizontally. You don't want to try to put it in like this because it won't go. So we're just going to try to... And this can take a little bit of manipulation the first time, but once you get it in, and then you seal up this Velcro, now you're ready to ride. And the weight, it does add to the weight of the glove, is right down here, kind of on the gauntlet, is where the battery sits. To turn on the heated feature of the gloves, you basically hold this button down for just a couple of seconds. I'm just going to hold it until it lights up. Now you see it turns red. And red is the hottest setting. Now it's kind of uh, 
modulating right now. I think that means it's heating up. I'm not sure what that means. I haven't been able to find that information yet. But if you tap this button again, it goes to blue, which is the medium heat, or it goes to green, which is the least amount of heat. So you can set the temperature of the glove. And if you press it again, it goes back to red. So you just cycle through those uh, heat settings. And then to turn the gloves off, you just hold this down until the light goes out. So it really is pretty simple to operate. Now the only real documentation that I could find that came with the gloves is on one of the gloves. It's just got really not much. Doesn't really tell you anything about how to operate the gloves. So I was able to get some operating instructions from their web or from the Amazon page where you buy these. Oh, and one other part. There's a little rubber, like a squeegee here. Forgot to mention that. You and it's on the. Uh, it's only on your right hand glove, and this would be like to clean water off your face mask or your your shield, your face shield. It's kind of a nice little feature. Uh, they come in a really nice uh, box, like this. A really nice package. It's kind of a hard shell package. It's kind of a nice quality look, so you can easily keep these in your saddlebag or your trunk or your trailer or wherever. And as I've mentioned before, uh, I think these gloves run a little bit small. So I normally wear a large, and this is an extra large, and it fits me pretty well. It's maybe a tiny bit too big, but not. it really is pretty comfortable, actually. So if you normally would wear an extra large, you might want to order the 2X. Uh, if you normally wear a 2X, you're probably out of luck because they don't make a 3X. So this is the, they do make a, I believe they make a large, an extra large, and a 2X, and they might make a medium. I'll have to look. So those are the um, weatherproof gloves heated gloves from Duhon. Now they also claim to be waterproof. I notice here it says uh, waterproofness 10,000. I don't know what that means. So we're going to test that out. We're going to test out the waterproofness. Uh, we're going to also test out yeah, how these things keep your hands warm. So let's see how waterproof or if these gloves are waterproof. I'm just going to hold them under running water here for a while. You can see the water looks like it's kind of beading off there. So this is the best way I know how to simulate riding in the rain. Okay, my hands are perfectly dry, so they do appear to be pretty waterproof. Now here I'm going to check the temperature of my hand before I put it under the ice. It's between 89 and 92 degrees Fahrenheit. The ice water bath is about 34 degrees. And what I want to do is hold my hand underneath this ice water for three minutes. And then uh, when I pull it out, I'm going to check the temperature of my skin again. Now you'll notice my skin temperature did drop a little bit. It went down to about between 87 and 91 degrees, but that's still pretty good for being under cold ice water for three solid minutes. Now let's take these gloves out for a quick ride just to see how comfortable they are. This morning I'm trying out these new Duhon heated gloves, which are rechargeable. Now I currently have the gloves set on the highest heat setting. There's three different settings. A low, a medium, and a high. And then of course you can turn them off. I have them on the highest setting right now just because I want to see how warm they actually get. And I'm not sure how long they take to come up to full temperature. But they are not uncomfortably warm right now. Uh, they're very substantial gloves, and they're uh, pretty comfortable. They don't offer, like most uh, winter riding gloves, they don't offer a lot of uh, tactile 
ability so you know you don't feel like your fingertips have as much control however these gloves are equipped with a material on the these two fingers uh, that will allow you to use your cell phone or in my case this uh, GPS it does respond to the the touch of these fingertips are kind of a almost a rubbery material they um, certainly are warm and I think they would be really really popular for anybody who rides in cold weather on a regular basis or if you ride a snowmobile or I guess any activity outdoors where you're in cold uh, cold air you want to keep your hands warm even if you want to go walk around the neighborhood you don't want to keep your hands warm to be good for that there is a light on the each glove to show what uh, heat level you've got uh, it goes from red to blue to green red being the hottest setting which kind of makes sense that pretty much wraps up my review and test of these Duhon waterproof electric gloves now there's one thing I forgot to mention earlier that I think is important. When I did my ice bath test where I held my hand under water for three minutes, it did seem as though if I had held my hand under there for maybe five minutes, that some moisture might have come through the seam where the thumb connects to the palm of the glove. My hand never got wet, but it did feel like it was getting a little cooler in that area, so I'm not sure if moisture would actually get through this glove. But again, that's a very extreme test, holding your hand underneath water for that amount of time. It'll probably have to be a pretty heavy rainstorm for, your, for these to actually, the water to breach the glove. But they did a good job. They did keep the hands warm. They're relatively comfortable, I'd say, for a warm weather glove or a cold weather glove. They're pretty comfortable, more so than some others I've tried. So I want you to check these out. If you ride in cold weather, I think it might be something that would be good for you to add to your riding gear. As for value, I think at $125, which is the retail value of these gloves, uh, they seem to be pretty reasonably priced. I've seen some other electric heated gloves that run as much as $200. So for your name brand gloves, you're going to pay a lot for that name. And we also have a discount code that's good through the end of January 2020, so you can order these gloves through Amazon and save another 12%. I think your net cost is about $110 a pair. So check that out. Don't forget to use that link and that coupon code down below uh, to get the best deal. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click that bell icon, YouTube will let you know when we come out with new review videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.